Good morning, this is Cliff Martin, and welcome to the EV Prof. This morning I'm going to have about a two and a half hour drive to uh, from Ohio to northern Indiana, and it's about six degrees Fahrenheit right now, and it's supposed to drop to two degrees Fahrenheit by the time I reach uh, northern Indiana. One of the things I've done is I've uh, preheated the car I, while it's plugged in so it doesn't take energy from the battery, and the other thing I've done is I've uh, charged it to 100%, which I don't normally do, just to make sure I have uh, plenty of range. So with the fully charged, the estimated range maximum 260, we're not going to get anywhere near that. Minimum range 158 and projected range 221, which is still going to be very optimistic on this cold day. You can see that after starting out and only going 4 miles, uh, the range indicates a max of 224, uh, a minimum of 155 miles, and a projected range of 190 miles. Um, of course it's dropped because uh, now I've started out the heat's on it and uh, so it's given a new projected range. Well we have snow covered roads this morning, the back roads at least, so we'll wait and see what happens when we get to the interstate. You see that the current uh, miles per kilowatt hour for the trip so far for the first 11 miles is 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, uh, which is down from what uh, usually average. Uh, lately I've been averaging about 3.4 to 3.5 and, and temperatures are, you know around 30 degrees or so, 20s, 30s. Um, but this morning it's only 6 degrees so we'll take a hit on the range there plus the snow on the roads. So these are the best roads I've been on so far. Uh, mainly clear now, just a little bit of snow on it, snow blowing at time from time to time. Now that I've traveled 47.7 miles, the maximum projected range is 159, the minimum is 110 miles, and the projected is 135. If we look at Torque Pro over here, we can see that it's taking about 4.5 kilowatts for heat. That's uh, very from about 3 kilowatts up to about uh, 4.5 kilowatts. And uh, you see we have about 71.8% uh, of battery left. And the battery temperature has dropped at 35.6. If we look down here, you see that now the uh, temperature has dropped to 3 degrees, from, so from 6 down to 3 degrees. And wind chill is supposed to be about 5 to 15 uh, below uh, today. Well, we have some nice sunshine now, and, uh, although the temperature is still only 3 degrees. So it hasn't warmed up any. It's supposed to drop some more yet as I travel north. But uh, cabin heat, you see we're still taking over 4 kilowatts. Uh, keep it 70 degrees or something in here. So it's nice and comfortable. Gone uh, down to 52.2% state of charge. Um, our miles per kilowatt hour uh, average 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour for the trip so far. Um, that's uh, less than I've seen all winter. I've not seen below three. And usually it's like 3.4, 3.5 during the winter time. Um, I've gone 84 miles now. Uh, have about 40 more to go. Well, we're approaching 50% uh, state of charge here. We're at 50.2, and if we look at the miles here, we've traveled uh, 86.9 miles, so 87 miles now. So at this rate, we should get about 174 miles uh, total range. Uh, I've hit a little more snow now, hit some ice back at the last intersection, so not quite as nice driving conditions here as we had earlier. Looks like now I've got 103 miles and uh, still 3 degrees outside, so averaging 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour for the trip. If you look at the Torque Pro, uh, looks like we're down to 40.8% state of charge and the heater's uh, now taking about 3.9 kilowatts. Battery temperatures dropped from about 48 degrees to start out with down to 32 degrees now. And the air temperature is still 3 degrees. 
Chase. Another thing I did mention is we've had a uh, about a seven mile per hour uh, headwind or a time side wind, and uh, so that's affected range as well. Of course, tailwind is the best, but uh, we haven't seen that. completed my trip and it looks like it's 114.6 miles of traveled uh, average 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour and if we look at the torque pro over here used uh, we're down from 100% down to 34.1% battery um, looks like the battery heater is actually running now uh, since it's down to 32 degrees uh, battery temperature see here that uh, it says four degrees Fahrenheit uh, the local weather channel actually said it's one degree Fahrenheit seems like the bolt, bolt always reads uh, a little higher than the actual temperature here now if you look at the energy used 39.9 kilowatt hours um, 114.6 miles traveled and you can see that uh, it took uh, over probably an eighth of the energy to uh, heat the cabin and uh, just now uh, the battery heaters kicked on to help heat the battery since it's uh, down to 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit battery temperature. Uh, some things you can do to help uh, increase range uh, is preheat the, the cabin like I did before I left while it was plugged in. Uh, inflate tires um, so they're not low and uh, you see the tires actually read about 39 uh, PSI and uh, that was up about 42 before it got cold and so uh, you know the temperature the pressure will drop as the uh, temperature drops and so they're still inflated well. Another thing that helps is to travel slower. Um, I could have driven more interstate and uh, gone you know if, if the, the roads permitted uh, 70 miles per hour for a, a long, longer period of time um, but I can travel the back roads or less major roads and uh, travel 55 miles an hour get there in the same amount of time because it's a little shorter distance and so I, I'm always looking for a, a shorter route uh, that's at you know 55 miles per hour instead of a longer route that's at 70 miles per hour and uh, you get there I find in the same amount of time and use less uh, energy to get there so now we've got the car charged fully and uh, ready to head back to Ohio from northern Indiana, the approximately 120 mile trip. And you can see over here it says now that the temperature is 31 degrees. Well, I just pulled out of the garage, so it's actually a little colder than that. But uh, we'll see what it is. It always reads a little high, also. But uh, you can see it's fully charged. We'll see how much it takes now that the temperature is more moderate, upper 20s probably. Um, See, it uh, shows 98.8% state of charge. Um, the battery temperature is 42.8 degrees, and uh, we'll get on the road. And I've only driven a few blocks from home. You can see the temperature already dropped to 28 degrees so uh, it was definitely warmer in the garage than it is outside um, and that's probably a few degrees high it usually reads a few degrees high I think the high today was supposed to be about 24 degrees so I've traveled almost 40 miles now and the predicted range left maximum 184 uh, average 156 and a minimum 127 and I'm averaging 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour for the trip so far now so uh, doing a lot better now that the roads are clearer on the way back and that the uh, temperatures uh, 
up in around 26 degrees or so. And so uh, much more efficient now. It's uh, not much wind, so it's pretty, pretty calm. Reached 80% uh, of battery left. Five kilowatts for a heat. Battery temperatures dropped a little bit. It's down to 21 degrees now. So averaging about 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour now. Um, only averaged about 2.8 or 2.9 uh, coming up. Uh, with the snow on the ground and the temperatures near zero. Uh, so being up around 26 degrees or so has really helped and uh, it's pretty calm out which is helpful as well. At the 100 mile mark I'm averaging 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour yet. Um, look over here the cabin heat's taking about 1.7 kilowatts and the battery's at 51.4 uh, percent state of charge yet. Battery temperature has gone up back up a little bit to 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can look here at the energy usage and the percentage there for traveling and for uh, heating. We've used a total of about 29.1 kilowatt hours uh, so far. state of charge and the heater's taking about 1.4 kilowatts. Battery temperature is at 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit so it's holding pretty steady over the 100 mile trip. So I've made it um, 112.8 miles. Um, says the projected range maximum 131. We're turning toward that. Um, 109 is the average and 89 minimum. Um, and uh, average for the entire trip was 3.6 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So we're at 47.5% battery left. So just a little over half the battery capacity was taken for the trip. And uh, battery temperature is still 42.8. Here's the breakdown of the energy usage. Use 31.7 kilowatt hours, and the temperature now is uh, 27 degrees, which is probably more like 25. And uh, so it's dropped a, a degree since uh, leaving. So to summarize the trip uh, to northern Indiana, 114.6 miles traveled. Uh, average 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. The temperatures range from 6 degrees down to 1 degree Fahrenheit. And I arrived uh, at 34.1% state of charge left after leaving with 100% state of charge. A little over an eighth of the energy went toward heating the car. I had the heat set at, uh, at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, for the return trip from northern Indiana to southwest Ohio. So average 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour at 25 to 26 degrees. Um, arrived uh, with 47.5% state of charge left uh, after traveling 112.9 miles. That gives a range of 215 miles at 25 to 26 degrees. So three days later, I took a trip from Ohio to Indianapolis, and the trip was 182.3 miles. Um, on the way over, the temperature ranged from 1 degree Fahrenheit down to negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit, and I averaged, again, about 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. 
which gives a projected range for uh, those temperatures of 188.5 miles. Um, I used 34.9 uh, kilowatt hours to travel the 101 um, miles to Indianapolis. On the way back, the temperatures warmed up. Uh, it was between 20 and 24 degrees Fahrenheit for the entire trip. Um, and uh, used uh, 57.4 kilowatt hours for the entire trip. Um, I ended up with 13% uh, charge left, state of charge left when I arrived back home. Um, and so the projected range for the entire trip was 209.5 miles. For the entire trip, the average miles per kilowatt hour is 3.2. Uh, so you can see it did quite a bit better to go up from 2.9 for uh, over half the trip. Uh, up to 3.2 for a final average. Um, so the you know, 20 to 24 degrees uh, Fahrenheit made a, a huge difference in the range. But even if uh, I had traveled the entire uh, distance at one degree to negative two degree Fahrenheit, uh, I would have uh, had 188.5 miles of range. You know, the cold weather does affect the, the overall range of electric car because it affects performance of the battery. Also, the heat takes energy away from uh, travel distance. But, you know, I traveled 182.3 miles um, and still had 13% state of charge left when I arrived back. I had temperatures ranging from 1 degree Fahrenheit to negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit. And so, Electric cars are definitely not useless. You know, I, I could have uh, stopped and charged, but uh, I projected I wouldn't need to. And so I didn't stop and charge and had 13% battery left when I arrived back home. Yes, you do have to plan your trips, especially when the temperature is cold. That's why I like using Torque Pro so I can monitor my status and state of charge. And so I know how I'm doing to make sure I have enough to get home or else to a charger. Um, I've only run out of energy one time, and that was actually in a gasoline powered car. I uh, ran off gasoline once and, you know, 40 some years of driving. I hope this video is informative and can help you to plan your trips and uh, realize that, yes, you can still travel in an electric car in cold weather. Thank you for watching.